my name is Kimmy and today I'm going to be sharing with you five ways that I've been simplifying my life and maybe these little simple tweaks will help you as well. If you don't know, I do struggle with anxiety from time to time and I'm noticing right now in my life I don't have as much as I used to. I have minimized my responsibilities. Can you hear that? That's a vacuum downstairs. It is almost one in the afternoon and there's somebody cleaning my house. You guys, I have been wanting to do this for years, is to have someone come in either once a month, twice a month, or as needed to come clean my home. That sound down there is like music to my ears, honestly. Yes, the kids still have their chores. Yes, I still have my weekly cleaning list, my morning and afternoon routine, but I am so busy with She's in Her Apron. It is a full-time job. Editing takes hours a day. I am constantly working. And the cleaning, the dedicated cleaning videos are not the top videos here on the channel anymore. So I had to, you know, think in my work, where am I gonna say yes to as well and what am I gonna say no to? And no was the cleaning videos. I do share with you cleaning tips and, and me cleaning more in the, the um, housewife life so the homemaker life but I realized I need someone to come help I can't do everything it was giving me so much anxiety I was starting to beat myself up which is silly the family has their chores yes they still clean but if I can have someone come in once a month or twice a month and right now I'm doing twice a month they come in and they deep clean that way I I, I know like we're doing our best, the kids are doing their best with their zones, I'm doing the best, but knowing that at least twice a month, every two weeks, someone's coming in here and picking up what we missed takes a huge weight off my shoulders. Okay, another area that I have minimized my responsibilities is the grocery shopping. Now, don't get me wrong, I love to go to the stores, I love seeing the things, all the things, but one, I end up spending too much money, and then I end up buying, you know, buying things that I see like, ooh, ooh. And I have found ways that I can get the grocery shopping done without me leaving the house. One way is Costco will deliver. Costco, Costco, spending all our money at Costco. Get on the app or get or their website. You can see if you're in the area for them to deliver to you. Also, they have a two-day delivery. So some things you won't be able to get to be delivered on the same day. Like I noticed that toilet paper is a two-day delivery and some other things are a two-day delivery but that's okay with me if I don't need it right away that is a huge blessing you will pay just a few dollars more or a dollar more in a few products but think about it guys every time you go to Costco you end up spending way more money right something catches your eye I also use instacart and I will have Smith's grocery store near me come and deliver which is awesome also with Walmart you can ha you could go pick it up so there's pickup and a lot of stores do that as well you'll go online order your groceries pay for them and then you go to the store and pick them up I also like that too and also Sam's Club they will shop for you and you can pick it up as well so this is how I am simplifying my responsibilities. I've given myself the gift of time by not going to the grocery store. Just to give you guys some ideas, to all you young moms that are in the thick of it with young kids, is you know, pay someone to come in once every while and do your laundry and fold your laundry, like save and do a laundry day and have someone come in and do that. Any way that you can simplify and, and take some things off your shoulders are great. Or hire a babysitter to sit with your kids while you do the grocery shopping or run your errands so you can think and be able to you know focus on what you need to do i have learned to say no yep miss kimmy who always wanted to do everything for everybody and not have anyone feel you know disappointed in her anyway forget about it i have learned to say no and saying no is so hard because we don't want to let people down we don't want to offend anybody. We don't want, you know, we want to help people. I mean, our heart's in a good place, but sometimes we take on way too much and then it brings on stress and anxiety. I do help at school with the kids, but not nearly as much as I used to. So what I like to do to simplify the whole thing with the whole helping kids at school, oh, that's a lot of work. Um, I commit myself to one field trip a year. 
I would sign up to bring in a meal for the teachers, for the parent-teacher meetings. Um, they would put together dinners. I would always pick one to bring to them. I was in the PTO presidency for one of my kids' schools. It wasn't called PTA at this charter school, it was called PTO. And I did a lot for that. And I was like, nope, burnt out, done. I've, I've given my time to that part of my kids' life and I'm done. And so anytime someone asks, hey, are you willing to help here or here? If it's not something that I honestly want to do and can have the time, I tell them no. And it's so hard. It is hard. It gets easy though. It gets easy. Not meaning that I'm going to be a snot and never help at my kids' school. No. But I know in my mind what I will say yes to and what I will say no to. So I want you to sit and think about that. Where can you say no and then start saying yes to other things? So another way that I have simplified my life is creating more time. If you're new to the channel, I love to do make ahead meals, freezer meals, crock pot meals, preparing breakfast for the week, making meals ahead and having them already in the refrigerator ready to go or in the freezer. It just saves so much time. It'll make your mornings run smoother if you have breakfast already prepared and in the freezers or in the refrigerator ready to go. Getting some make ahead breakfasts that are easy to grab and go, you know, make up a, a pot of hard boiled eggs and, that are already peeled and, and put in your refrigerator, fruit that's all ready to go, some breakfast muffins and or in your freezer have some breakfast sandwiches that are easy to heat up and go or, or burritos things like that you can also do some make ahead meals not only with freezer meals if you're not a fan of freezer meals what you could do is make a bunch of crock pot meals and put them in uh, ziploc bags or bowls or, or containers however however you want to do it to make it eco-friendly and all you need to do is pull those out during the week and throw them in your crock pot in the morning and that can help simplify your days in the week tremendously. I love my slow cooker. I love it and I utilize it so much. In fact, this morning I have a crock pot meal all ready to go waiting uh, because after I'm done filming, I'll be editing for just a little bit and then I gotta go pick up Shaylee from school and she's gonna go get a haircut. And by the time I get home and get through traffic hour, it is dinner time. So knowing that I have dinner already, ready to go in my crock pot is huge. And so one way to simplify your life if you work outside the home is to utilize your crock pot. Oh, put dinner in before you leave for work. Put it on low and just keep it low and steady and let it cook. And when you get home, all you have to do is put together a few side dishes and it's less stressful. So another way that I have simplified my life is on how I plan and bulk my time. For instance, with She's in Her Apron, I need to know what content I'm doing on what days, what's gonna be posted, what videos, and then in my days during the week, I need to know, okay, when am I filming those, you know, what days. When I go to plan my week, I already know, okay, this week I'm filming this, and I used to use a planner to help me with um, she's in her apron and, and knowing what days I want to post but then I kept scratching everything out like no because you know things happen things change you might have an opportunity with a brand or do a collab and you want to move those dates around so post-its have become my best friend so I have a calendar here in my room I found this big guy at the dollar spot at Target and I use post-its and the post-its are color-coded for the type of video so if I notice like oh I'm doing a lot of cooking I need to put something else in there I could tell from the color coding I, I write on it the video or the idea of the video and which days I want them to upload. Like I said, if it doesn't work, I can pick up a post note and move it. So that way I'm not looking at, at a scribbled out calendar, which gives me anxiety and stress anyway. I can just move the post-its. I have been doing this since the end of December and I'm in love. And this is gonna be how it's done because this has been the most simplified, stress-free way for me and my brain to handle this here is I go to Walmart or Office Max or wherever and I get the small monthly planner book. This is what I keep in my purse at all times, okay? It's small, it doesn't take up room like the big bulky planners. And so I will write all the appointments and everything in here. Nothing to do with work, nothing to do with work, just everything to do with home life. And then I look at it and I go, all right, I know I need filming days, but some days in the filming days, I need to add more things in like today, Shaylee's haircut, but that's okay, that's in the afternoon. 
So, because I do like to block out my time. If I notice that I have a nail appointment or a doctor's appointment on one day and I need to schedule in another appointment, I will try to schedule it in on that day. Any errands that I already have to run, I try to do all on the same day. I'd rather have one hectic day outside of the home than my whole week be hectic coming and going. But I do have two dedicated days that are just for the craziness, for errands for appointments and those are Tuesdays and Thursdays. I try not to film on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I try to leave the, that open. Um, if I need to do any B-roll that doesn't take talking and it's just showing something really quick that I can throw into a video, I, I'll do that on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But Mondays and Wednesdays are my dedicated, dedicated filming time. Sometimes I will plan on this. It says to do today and it has, a, it says done here and task and I'll, write everything that I want to do here and I still use my stickers to help motivate me and just make it look good so the night before I will sit down before bed and I will go over what tomorrow's to do's are and I'll use my stickers and things and and I'll do it this way or I also have this pad which I also love using that has today above it has the checklist down the side but it also has the top priorities um, maybe move this to tomorrow a note section and helps keep track of your water and this is from Kiki K all I do is take this piece of paper have it out on the counter or the kitchen table and every time I lose focus because I have ADHD and go a little squirrely all I have to do is just look at it and go okay I'm on to the next thing and cross it off and this way right now with how crazy my life is and how my brain is working <laughs> I feel like mush some days but right now this is how I'm simplifying my life with just one sheet of paper with my to-dos and my monthly calendar that I keep in my purse. Another area of my life that I have simplified is getting control of all the papers that come into this house. You know what I'm talking about, right? All the paper, the mail, everything that comes in. I needed a more simplified system. Since the summer, I have been doing from Organized 365, Lisa Woodruff's Sunday basket system. You can use any basket. You can use anything. I got her folders that you can slide things in that help you go through your papers. All the papers in the house go in there. All the mail goes in there. The kids' papers go in their homework files, in their homework boxes that I have in another closet. But anything that comes into the home that's not the kids, all of everything goes into the Sunday basket. During the week, I'll pick one day that I'm going to sit and do my Sunday basket because when I'm going through and I'm noticing that we have a bill or if I need to call about something, I can do so because things are open. I have these little note cards in there. And anytime that I have a thought like, I need to make the kid's dentist appointment, call so-and-so about this, um, work on this or anything, and I'll write it on the post-it note and throw it in the box. And I'll go in and I'll see the card and I'm like, oh, okay, I need to do this and I'll put it in a certain pocket, these sleeve pockets. If you want to see the Sunday basket system and how she does it, I'll leave a video down below. Everything that comes into the house paper-wise goes into this one basket, and then I can hit it when, it when I do the bills, when I budget, when I'm sorting through things, it all goes there. This is one way that I've simplified my life. I, no more hunting for bills, no more hunting for anything, nada. I have shared a paper system with you guys before when you get the mail, you know, you, you look through and you make a pile for action, throw away, shred. That will get done. So anything that's in that Sunday basket, it's all actionable. So simplifying your life when it comes to papers will relieve you so much stress, you guys. I'm not a minimalist. I try my best to declutter. And I do it every month. I do have in a closet a bin that anything to donate will get thrown in there. Then it gets put in the back of my trunk and then we go and deliver it to the DI, which is like a Goodwill. I do declutter every time I zone clean, but I will do what I can in my ways to simplify and minimalize things in my house. These things have simplified my life, have brought me peace, able to focus on where I wanna focus and take the guilt off of other things, and it's been a huge blessing. What do you do to simplify your life? please leave it down below. I want to know and we can all learn from one another. That'd be great. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye.